dangerous shit, you know. This outback stuff is hard work. It stings. Paper cuts are like the worst, and it wasn't even paper; it was metal. But like, like you know, when you get a paper cut and you can just feel it. Yeah. All right. Cool. Good story. Welcome to the Motop 120 Plus Next Gen V6 review. This is our new rooftop tent. We've just upgraded from Swag because of Crystal. Obviously, the rooftop tent market being very saturated, you've got lots of brands, but we thought, you know, why not get something that's gonna last long yeah. for future, you know, for future cars. We wanted to get something nice, but something that we could both afford for the time being. Yeah. We had a few bits of criteria that the rooftop tent had to fit yeah. in. One, it had to fit on the car. The second thing was Crystal's back has been in a world of hurt. Yeah and we needed to make sure that it had a comfy mattress. And then the third thing was that it just was, like we just wanted it. If we didn't want it, we, didn't, we weren't gonna buy it. Yeah, it's a little bit smaller than your swag. Yeah, the swag's 1400 wide. Yeah. The Motop 120 is yeah. 120 wide. Yeah. If you're a medium to small build, the 120 is heaps. There's so much yeah. room, you don't need anything wider. Yeah. If you want the luxury of having something wider, go for it. But if you're just like, oh, I need the smallest thing, the cheapest thing, the 120 is fine. Well, uh, Crystal's gonna jump inside and tell us all about the interior, and then I'll get into my my things that I dislike about this yeah. tent. <laughs> Bye. Can you see me from here? <laughs> okay. This is the inside of our rooftop tent. Um, now it is pretty spacious in here. Um, I'm fully kneeling and I still have quite a lot of room here, which is really good. Fits the both of us nice and cozy. Um, now the mattress is probably my favorite thing in here. It is 80 millimeters thick. So it is very comfortable, memory foam as well. Um, so nice and thick, very comfortable for my back. Now the lining is got the insulation in it as well which can keep it nice and warm. And the best thing about it is you can actually unzip it and get rid of it. So if you are, I guess, traveling through the summer months, you're able to take it out and it will be a lot cooler. Um, but obviously keeps it nice and warm in here. And then if we want it off, we can take that off as well. Um, you obviously have your normal wall, a blackout wall, which is very good. And then your mesh as well to keep it nice and open to get that breeze in. And then with this, we're not able to get any of that rain coming in. Um, but lots of storage in here too, which is the best thing as well. So we obviously have this clear mesh storage. We're able to put you know, our phones in. If we want to watch anything while we are laying down, we will be able to see it. Um, and then these smaller pockets as well, nice and handy with the large pockets down the bottom too. Now these fit our clothes in, our pajamas, they are very, very roomy. So we're able to fit a lot in there. What do you love about it? Uh, I love that it's on the car. All in all, I think it's the best rooftop tent in this price range, um, unless you want to step up to the Bush Company rooftop tents. The inside is fabulous. We've got an amber light, I believe. We haven't used it yet, so I can't confirm that, but it's an amber and white light. And we got a USB-C, USB-A, and a SIG socket. However, my biggest gripe with this rooftop tent is these mounting rails. My problem is we had a 23-0 awning and we've been trying to mount it on this thing for four weeks. It's just been such a pain in the ass. Now, the Bush Company do make a universal bracket uh, for rooftop tents, which with a small amount of drilling to just change the rail size could have worked. No dramas at all. But other than the bad things, there are some absolutely fabulous things. Starting with these really tough latches. Uh, after multiple complaints, I guess, from all their previous models being little bits of aluminium. They've got alloy brackets now. These bad boys have got 
uh, a double latch system. So it's got a clip and it locks. And once it's on, you can't unlock it without uh, moving this little hinge here. This thing is probably the best feature of the new rooftop tents. Everybody that's had a previous Motop tent has said, oh, this is the best upgrade that they've done. So they're actually listening to their customers and improving their product. The Motop 120 Plus or the next generation, it's the current best rooftop tent on the market in the three and a half to four and a half thousand dollar price range. Yeah. Hands down. Yeah. I don't think there's any competition that comes near it. No. Would you agree? No, I love it. You wouldn't I agree? No, I do agree. Oh, you do agree? Yeah. Let's close this bitch up and get out of here. Well, you're closing it now, so... Oh. <laughs>